if you're going to put all that work into making yourself the best you can be at work, at your career, you might as well do it with your body as well. Because if work doesn't work, your body could still work. But if your body doesn't work, work is never, your career is never going to work out. With us live in studio, we have none other than Jenna Wolf, TV journalist and lifestyle and fitness expert. Some background about a very distinguished guest. Jenna has been sharing her passion for fitness and fun with America for over two decades. She was the first lifestyle and fitness correspondent on NBC's Today Show. More about that in a bit. Jenna is the author of this amazing book, Thinner and 30. Thinner and 30. You don't have to be 30 years old. You could be younger. <laughs> you, could, <laughs> you could be older. It's thinner in 30 days. Small changes that add up to big weight loss in just 30 days. With that intro, we give a warm welcome to Jenna Wolf. Jenna? Yay! Sit down, yeah. everybody. Down. Sit down. In the back, you guys are fine. Sit down. <laughs> We're all good. We're going to get going. That is we quite an introduction. Say, that yeah, was you're very welcome. An incre- I almost don't deserve it. And you had no, to make me that. feel incredibly insecure by reading off the list of wonderful people you had on before well, me. Well, you'll be added to the list. I cannot wait. <laughs> Thank you for having me. (laughs) Chris and Pesach are amazed. The first thing you say is jump up and down. Let me see how many push-ups you could do. Not an army sergeant unless you ask for it. If you (laughs) ask for it, I will will be that person and happily. (laughs) The first question that's on everyone's mind is this show is all about getting people ahead in the business world. And how does exercise, you know, play a role over here? Or let's turn it around. How important is it for an executive, someone in business, to be in fit, you know, in good physical shape. Well, I mean, let's just put it this way: you know, if you don't work, <clears throat> nothing around you works, right? It, it starts and it ends with you as a person. That means sleeping well. That means eating well. That means treating your body well. If you don't have the energy to get through the day, if you don't have the energy to to work thirteen straight hours, if you don't have the wherewithal to to put good fuel in your system, you get no energy out. And that's a very sort of almost corny way of saying it, but you become so much more productive. Uh, when your system is working uh, at, at, you know, perfect capacity. And that only happens when you take care of yourself, right? You put hours and hours and hours and years and years into building your career. You work at really sort of cruddy jobs sure. when you're young to try to build this foundation. Why not do the same thing for your body? Because at the end of it, when you're sitting on that deathbed, you don't look back and regret the time you didn't spend it. You regret not having 20 years of your life back that maybe you could have done something a little different. So it goes hand in hand. If you're going to put all that work into making yourself the best you can be at work, at your career, you might as well do it with your body as well. Because if work doesn't work, your body could still work. But if your body doesn't work, work is never, your career is mm. never going to work out. Now, are there any workouts that can easily be done at a desk? Many people have you know, blue-collar jobs, white-collar jobs. They're at a desk. Yeah. Yeah. What can they do? What has happened in this world is we have come to rely on all these gizmos and gadgets and classes and gyms and uh, exercise DVD. We, we've come to rely on all these things that they become excuses for us, right? Well, I'd love to work out, but I'm nowhere near a gym, so I guess I won't work out today, right? <laughs> or, gosh, I'd love to work out, but I'm sort of stuck here at the desk. I don't have 60 minutes, right. so we don't work out, right? Or you're on the radio talking to this lunatic who <laughs> you think is going to have you do push-ups, <laughs> so you're not going to work out. There's so many things you can do, and really it's just about moving moving your body and getting yourself moving. So, for example, I'll mm-hmm. give you something that's so easy. You're sitting at, we're sitting at a desk right now. You can do this no one even know you're doing it. You know, sort of roll yourself up to the front part of the desk. Put your hands underneath your desk so your hands are flat underneath. Mm-hmm. And with your body sort of straight up, not leaned against the back of the chair, I want you to push up against this desk as hard as you've ever done in your life. Wow. Engage your bicep, your chest, your core for 30 seconds, not just right. one, as hard as you've ever done, and then let go. And do that three more times. You will feel an entire burn in your upper body. Is it the same thing as running a half marathon? No. But what it's doing is it's getting you from, from doing nothing to the point where when you are able to have the time to do a workout, you're not starting from scratch. You know, things like that, things like getting up and walking, things like lifting, trying to lift both your legs off the ground while you're standing up, while you're sitting in your chair without leaning back, engaging your core. Little tiny things you can do to get you from A to Z without having to just give up on working out completely. The, the kind of workouts I do is for, pe- for people who don't want to join a gym, who don't have the financial means, the time, the energy, the wherewithal, the knowledge. You don't want to join a gym. I know. I understand that. Here's something you can do in a hotel room, in your living room, in your bathroom for all I care. Amazing. All you need is a tiny little drop of space and some wit and some wisdom and a little bit of 
willpower. That's all you really need. And I'm going to tell you whatever else you can do for low impacts, for high impact, whatever it is you want to do. And that's where I came up with all my stuff. At the Today Show, I worked like a crazy person. I was so rarely in town for more than three days in a row. There was no point in me joining a gym. And I got it and I heard it from people. Well, I just don't have time to go for 60 minutes. Okay, you don't want to go to the gym. I'll bring the gym to you. This way, whatever your excuse is, let me tell you why that's not an excuse. Because if I could do it with a one-year-old and a two-year-old at home, with you know a partner who's traveling like crazy, with a household that can rival like any Seinfeld episode, like it's <laughs> a disaster every day just getting out of my house. I never even know where I'm wearing pants. Like I have no idea it's so crazy. If I can do it, I promise you, you can do it. You are not any busier than I am. And the truth is... We all have 24 hours in a day, right? You do, Bill Gates does, the Dalai Lama does, my mom does. It's what you do with those 24 hours. So if those guys can become successful, you can be successful. If they have time, if Oprah has time, if if the craziest, the the busiest people in the world have time, there's no reason why you can't find time. Amazing. Now let's talk about when traveling. Most business people are traveling. How could someone maintain their exercise regimen while traveling? Same way you do it when you're here. You just have to actually do it. So for the most part, I have come up with these exercises that you can do in your hotel room. Mm -hmm. I don't rely on a gym ever. If there's a gym, fantastic. Make it, excuse me, make it a part of your of your trip. Make it a part of what you're doing. Put it in your calendar as, well, I have a 10 a.m. you know business meeting. Mm-hmm. Well, at 8 a.m. in your calendar, go into your phone and put it in there because when people see it written down, it's That's something right. they do. It's accountable. Right. 8 a.m. I have to be at the gym or I have to be at a local Soul Cycle class or I'm going to do this workout from Jenna's website. Uh, put it in your calendar as something you absolutely have to do and force yourself to do it. Don't make it an option. Well, I'm on the road so I can eat terribly and I don't have to move. <laughs> Well, what does that mean? Accountability is with you everywhere. It's not just at home. So if you can force yourself to do that, have the discipline. If you have the discipline to get on a plane and go to a business meeting somewhere. Everything else is there. Everything else is already laid out for you. This has to be part of your discipline. This show with Jenna Wolf, everything you're making, it's so practical. It's incredible. So here's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to give you, I've taken every single thing I know about health and fitness okay. across every demographic. Men, women, old, young, business, not state just homes, 30s. not just 30s, every, every age group. And I've narrowed everything down to four tips. Right? You can join and, and sign up for every workout in the world, every class in the world, every diet in the world. You can spend $1,000 a month. You can spend food services, whatever it is. If you do the following four things, that's it. Okay. It is guaranteed to lose weight. I guarantee you, it is not like it might happen or it may happen. This will 100% happen. All you have to do is four things, okay? So I'm going to tell you what they are. Ready. You ready? Ready. Number one, water. First thing in the morning when you wake up, I want you to drink 20 sips of water. It's about eight and a half ounces. I don't know what your morning routine is. I don't know if you get up and go fishing. I don't know if you sit in a bathtub with donuts. Like, you need to get up (laughs) and drink 20 sips of water. That means count them, right? I don't want you to count cups or ounces. uh, That's crazy. Nuts. Swallow 20 times. That's how I know you're drinking at least nine ounces. It'll fill you up. You're dehydrated from not having had anything in your system the whole night, right? This is going to get your metabolism going. You can start. And that's how you're going to get yourself on your way towards drinking a lot of water during the day. That's it, number one. Number two, no simple carbs after 6 p.m. No white bread, no white crackers, no white rice, no sugar. After 6, 5.58, you can eat a baguette. You eat till your heart's content. <laughs> six zero zero, no more. Okay, here's why. Fair we, enough. Right? We spend all day, we work so hard to be so good at the job, at the family, at the responsibilities, at our diets. Nighttime comes and we're exhausted. And we let our guard down and we go out for dinner and the bread basket comes. And- <laughs> You vacuum the carbs into your system. You don't even order apps. You have now sucked and suctioned the carbs into your system. So lay off the carbs when you're doing your most damage. You will save so many calories. That's number two. No simple carbs. You can have a baked potato. You can have brown rice, but nothing white. Okay, that's number two. Number three, you're already doing it, 10,000 steps a day. So I know that no matter what, you're walking four and a half miles. And last but not least, keep a food log. Find someone else, maybe your wife. I don't know if your wife has to lose weight or wants to change her system. I know everyone in my life wants to. Write down every last morsel of food you put in your mouth. I don't want you to change anything. You just write it down. Eat whatever you want. Write it down. At the end of the night, I want you to email it to your wife or to your friend or to a group of friends or to all your listeners. Okay? You will see that over the course of just three days, you will end up making your own changes. You might not have pecan pie for dessert. Maybe you'll have the fruit because other people are going to be looking at it. I don't know if you look like a pecan pie kind of guy. I don't know if that's anything kosher, but I'm just telling you, you will change. And that's how you do it. Four things. Walk 10,000 steps, drink 20 sips of water in the morning, no simple carbs after six, and keep a food diary. You do that for one month. If you do it for two, 
there is a 1,000% guarantee. You do it for one, there's like a 100% guarantee. You're losing weight. I could not have made it easier for you. Oh, man. 77 WABC Radio presents Mind Your Business, hosted by founder and president of Bottom Line Marketing Group, Yitzhak Saflis. Mind Your Business focuses on business and marketing strategies for success. 